Good morning. Sunday the 27th of November already. I can't believe it. Um, I'm about to head off to the brewery, but before I depart, just wanted to share the progress of the test brew, trial brew of the IPA, which is uh, fermentation's finished now, but just settling out. Um, I'll check the gravity a bit later. And then if it's looking, um, if it's looking like it's done, we'll crash fine, get it into a keg and have a little taster at some point in the not too distant. Um, so just heading off to the brewery, got a few things to share um, and I'll see you down there. We are here. I definitely need to get that sign up, don't I? Um, Liv sorted us some artwork for a sign out and um, I've not actually ordered it yet, but they're pretty quick turnaround. So it's probably gonna go there or alternatively, so you can see it from the road, Brian the landlord said I can take that to let sign down and put it there. I think that's a better view from the road actually. Not that we've got customers coming in, but people do ask where we are. Um, Dave who works for the landlord here um, has done the replacement tarmac uh, asphalt. So that's in there and there now. So that stops us or reduces the muddy feet as I get out of the car, I'm gonna park there now. Meanwhile, inside, we've we've brewed, uh, or we've mashed, we've sparged, we've got Johnny's cow food in the tubs, ready to go. Uh, I'll drop that off on the way home as usual. Plenty of stock left, grain-wise. I've got another pallet coming in in a couple of weeks' time, and Ken's taking care of that for us, so they should be here. That should be here probably, I think it was about the 17th of December, somewhere around there, so that should keep us going through January because the prices are going up big time. So um, I'll just buy as much stock as we can afford to, uh, just to carry us through into probably March, I would think. I've got plenty of hops. I've just been looking in the fridge because I'm chatting while I'm, while I'm brewing and doing this video, I'm chatting with um, a guy called John in Australia who um, found us on YouTube and we've been chatting. He's making Murgy straight right now. And weirdly, we're kind of synchronized. He's a, he, he started his boil about five minutes before mine started. Um, so we're having a bit of a race. Um, I think he's gonna beat me unless I adjust some timings, which would be very childish, just so I can say I won, but that's the, that's, that's the way I roll. <laughs> um, hops are ready to go in. We've got the um, hop stand hops and the first hop edition there, which goes in at 20 minutes to go. And then I've got the second one there, which is 10 minutes to go. Um, and the boil, let's just check the boil progress. Yeah, that's all right. It was raging a minute ago, so I've just turned it down. We're currently on half power. Yeah, I've got two elements off. Um, and Martin's wonderful box is just on full at the moment. Um, it really depends on ambient temperature. I do need to get that wood back on and the insulation there as well. Uh, now it's getting a bit colder, it'll probably help. Um, Retrieved the 10 casks from Sean's. I lent him 10 empties um, during the great cask shortage of 2021. No, 2022? Yeah, earlier this year, um, which he used to put his fantastic red IPA in. Um, and now that's all been consumed by his customers. I was able to get my empties back. So I've got 10 kegs there. And kegs rather than casks, because the, the next rack that we'll do is the um, American A. P A, the A American A P A, the A P A. Anyway, um, so we should get ten kegs of that out. Uh, that will probably be. I brewed that Friday, so that will probably be what well, week on Friday, isn't it? Week next Friday. Um, we'll get that into keg. I've got a couple left. Um, we are currently fully stocked in the cold rooms. Uh, fortunately, it's twelve degrees in here, so these are just sat out at the moment, but. I'll um, get Elliot over later. We'll move some stuff around and get them in there. I'm more concerned that it's too cold in here than too warm at the moment. Um, but either way, we're ambience okay for at least a day or two. Uh, but in there are the eight casks of Cross Stout. Cross Stout, get it? Cross Stout? Anyway, um, they are gonna be ready next weekend. So we'll get those out to the pubs um, week after next six sold two remaining i'm all right with that because of a funny feeling 
a couple of the pubs will want to restock um, if they shift it pretty quickly. So, and if not, there's there's uh, there's two for me to perhaps tackle some new customers with. Um, went out last night to Congleton, which is the next town in the opposite direction to Sandbach, um, kind of north east of Sandbach, and. Uh, had a few beers around town and went into a little place called Barley Hops um, that I've heard about but never been to. And it was ace. Some great beers in there. Uh, four handfuls. Got chatting with Paul, the owner, who I've tried to email previously, but we've just been a bit busy and not quite able to have a conversation. Anyway, we did last night. Um, and he's taken Murgy from me this week and Moss and Dragon. So both of our main beers will be available in Congleton for the first time ever. Um, we've no other pubs in Congleton at the moment, um, but we would like to expand there a little bit. Again, like the Middlewich thing, not in every pub, just a couple of pubs would be great, um, particularly if they've got you know, different customers, uh, we, can, um, we can spread out a little bit. So Barley Hops in Congleton, we'll have Murgy on probably um, next weekend, I would think, but I'll certainly post on Twitter, Mastodon, um, and maybe a little YouTube video once we deliver to let you know what's going on. So get yourself to Congleton. Right, I'm going to crack on with this brew. I've got an Australian to beat. Mashed out, doing the murgy straight, boiling away. Got the oppositions. 40 minutes and then the secondary one and enjoying a rough seas pale ale Wilson's from Albany cheers Andy thank you nearly forgot to mention um, I mentioned a while ago the guys from Werkstatt um down in they're like Cheltenham way down there anyway um, they started about the same time as us they had a really great little kit that they bought from Brew Tools Direct B150 um, it's a one barrel kit um, it's only been used I guess a year or so um, and they're upgrading or they've upgraded so their kit I'll put some pictures on the screen their kit's up and available now so it's a one barrel so uh, you should be well, but this is a two, isn't it? So I guess it's four, four casks at a time, six kegs, something like that. Uh, so it's a great little starter. Um, if you're interested, I will put some contact details in the video comments um, or in the video script thing box underneath, down there. And um, yeah, contact them directly or ping me a note if you can't get hold of them and I'll connect you. How's this getting on? Ooh, looking good. What temperature are we? 20.3, perfect. Southwest Beer Club. I have still got your bottles. They're still in that vacuum pack. I've just not had a chance, not a chance to sit down. I was gonna take them to the pub and do a side-by-side -side with Mergie. I think they were in here. Now they're in the fridge at home now. Hope Sarah earlier really don't drink them. Um, I still fully intend to take your murky murky straight down to um probably the king's lock or the emporium and um do a side by side i will do it apologies i've not done it yet and pat from pat's brewery i was gonna show, i was gonna tell you where the murky straight name originated i'll try and take some video on the way home which i'll probably insert at this point uh, but basically, the road between Sandbach, where I live, and Middlewich, where the brewery is, where the canal runs alongside it, um, the Trent and Mersey Canal, which is the same canal that you've got down the end of the road here, behind this pub. Um, long, long time ago, there was a, a brine pump um, and a salt works owned by a company, or a man, called Murgatroyd. And this road uh, is actually called Booth Lane. Um, but um, 
Murgatroyd's factory was alongside that road and it's a long straight road with the canal and the road next to it and it's known by the locals as well v variably it's known as Murgy Strait, the Murgy Strait, Murgy's Strait, either way Murgy's Strait um, and that's what it is and when you were 17 when I was a young boy and you got your new you know 1978 Ford Fiesta you would get down the Murgy Strait and see how fast you could get it um, and a couple of people I know over the years have been fished out of the Murgy Strait um, due to inexperience driving a Fiesta at Mach 2. So that's the Murgy Strait.